they offer. What we want to let the residents of Park Forest know is effective January 1st, 2012, a new state law goes into effect that uh, basically uh, prohibits uh, putting any number of electronics materials into uh, into landfills, so contractors aren't going to be able to pick it up. Uh, waste haulers are going to want to avoid that. There's a number of different options that are available for folks, and the village is going to try to act as a clearinghouse uh, to talk about what programs are available. Um, just so that folks are aware of it, when we talk about uh, electronics items, I'll just go through the list because it's a fairly lengthy one. Computers, laptops, computer monitors, computer parts, printers, scanners, fax machines, televisions, video game con consoles, battery backpacks, MP3 players, um, personal digital assistants, uh, PDAs, uh, CV, uh, CDs, VCRs, DVD players, uh, stereo equipment, telephones, cell phones, answering machines, digital clocks, microwave ovens, uh, digital cameras, typewriters, word processors, calculators, adding machines, paper shredders. You get the idea. It's a, uh, it's a fairly exhaustive list. Um, one of the programs that's available to Park Forest residents, uh, and it's not just for those living in Will County, it's a program that's offered by Will County as a partnership with uh, a contractor they've engaged um, for basically door service pickup. Uh, all the resident has to do is actually call, uh, schedule a pickup. What I try to tell residents, it's similar to calling AMVETS. If you're going to, uh, if you're going to uh, donate to AMVETS and you have in the past, you call them, they'll pick something up from your house, they'll get you on the calendar to come out. There are a couple of caveats as I understand it. Uh, first is that uh, uh, pickups will not be done for more than 10 items. Um, uh, I think that they, they set that as a limit. Uh, and you have to have at least one computer or a large item for the pickup. Uh, so if you call them and say you want to just, you know, have them pick up this old cell phone, uh, probably not cost effective for them to come out and uh, dedicate the resources for that pickup. Uh, as far as actually having more details on the program, Marta, if you wanted to come up, you're more than welcome to. I don't know if you'd want to have anybody from, uh, uh, from uh, Vintage Tech also speak as well. Please come to the podium. Good evening. My name is Marta Keen. I'm with Will County, and this is Seth Smith. And he is from Vintage Tech. And we would like to answer any questions you have. I brought along some sample brochures, which you're welcome. Would you like to give those? Sure. They're um, basically, I'm working on finishing these. So this is the rough copy. You might see some typos, just a warning. And we just finished updating the website tonight to show the communities that are being added. But basically, we're finishing off what started in April as this front door service pickup. We started in Northern Will and then we expanded to the southern edge and now we're coming to the eastern edge. So we include all municipalities in their entirety, um, which is unique, and that is because of Vintage Tech's ability to negotiate that with the manufacturers as a pilot program. The pilot will last three years and we're hoping that it will be successful, uh, prove cost effective, and therefore be continued. Do you have any questions specifically? Are there any questions from trustees? Trustee Brandon. Thank you. So clarify, you, and you must have a com, some sort of computer type. A computer, a laptop, uh, one of those reading the Kindles, uh, something like that. You have that that breaks. And then up to 10 items. So as long as you have one large item, it could be a CPU, one of the old, you know, uh, it could be a monitor, a television. Okay. So something that's, that's more substantial. And then if you want to throw string lights in there, you're welcome to do that. Oh, okay. Or a microwave. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Something okay. large of that sort, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. I, I'm really um, excited that um, you're, you're doing this. I had gotten a notice about it because I live in the Will County section of the village. And so um, I, I was like, wow, this is really great. Because at other times we've had, personally, we've had items that needed to be recycled and not really know where to take them or... They were doing it in Joliet or someplace like that that wasn't convenient. Right. So um, it's really, I think it's great for the community that you're willing to do the door-to-door the -door service. So. We, we are very excited to offer it as well. And it is because of state law that changed that's requiring the manufacturers to help pay for it. So um, it's actually cost us a lot less. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I have one Trustee question. Dillard. I can see that this is a, a good list, but 
if there are other items that people have in question, then they would just call to see if you would pick it, or is this it? Right, right. So when they request their pickups, they're going to call um, our main line, and <coughs> one of our one of our employees will direct them the direction. Yes, we'll take that. No, we won't. They they. The way they do it, it's, uh, our system is just a very extensive Excel spreadsheet, mm -hmm. and it'll say televisions, monitors, computers, printers, miscellaneous items, and they'll gather that information to let our drivers know that when they get to this house, this is how many items they have, this is what it is. That way we can plan ahead that if this, if this resident has five TVs and they're mm -hmm. decent size, we're probably going to have to coordinate extra logistics for that day so, because we're going to fill up our van. So, Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Um, our board meeting shows on television. It'll be rebroadcast. You might want to just take the advantage of a free commercial and give the phone number, the website, sure. where <laughs> folks can call uh, for future reference. Okay. okay. Well, we certainly would love you to visit willcountygreen.com. Okay. And then right on the front page, there's a button that says connect to recycling, and it's got the electronic recycling symbol there. And then it clicks right into where all of our drop-offs are, as well as the, the phone number and the email to call Vintage Tech, and you can click right through to Vintage Tech's website, and there. Right, so our website is uh, www.vintagetechrecyclers.com. Um, you can call into our, our line, it's an automated system, it's 630-305-0922. Uh, and then moving forward with the program, um, we, we really encourage people to make sure to put it outside in their door. One of the things about the program is we're not going to be able to go into the households. Um, just to be clear on that, it's, it's a liability issue uh, for one of our employees to do so. Um, definitely take advantage of the program. It is free of charge. Uh, it's a great service and it's very convenient. I also had a, uh, a toll-free number, 866-631-1707. Does that apply as well? Yes, it, it does. does. I, I just don't know that one off the top okay. of Okay. <laughs> For residents who want to save the toll, save your quarter, 866-631-1707. Uh, if you're looking for more information, go to the Village website. Uh, you can find our uh, agenda packet for this evening. Any other questions from the board? Okay. No, thank you very much. Um, I do want to just um, emphasize what you have said because I don't think a lot of people are aware of that while this is a nice thing to do and it's something that being ecologically conscious the way we are in the Village of Park Forest, we would want all of our residents to do anyway. But what is most important for the residents to understand as of January 1st, it's the law. It's not a case of where this is just an option of a nice thing to do. You cannot put electronic items out for pickup by regular trash collectors. And they won't pick them up, and if they do accidentally pick them up, in all probability you're going to get some kind of contact from them after the fact saying you shouldn't have left that out. So, you know, we this program will supplement that, and then the added benefit is that these things, many of which used to end up in landfills, now are going to be recycled. And that's the important thing from an ecological standpoint. So we're very happy to be in partnership with you on this project, and we hope it's greatly successful. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Marta. Thank you for joining us this evening.